So you take a rag and some black dye and you apply it on the body. Leave it to dry, add more black dye. I've got a darker concentration here, I think every time I get darker. Testing out what a burst would look like. Smudge it in, leave it to dry, then hit it with some more black around the sides. Really picking on the spots there that aren't taking the dye very well. Give it a nice even coating. Then once it's dried, I'm sanding it with a sanding block. Just because it's a water-based dye, which would make the wood swell. And then you're sanding off the top where the wood swelled. The darkness is staying in the grain. And you're actually sanding off the top so that you can stain that another color, which in this case is a dark burgundy red. So once that's dried, I add another layer of stain here around the edge. Clear up any little defects in the glue, which will happen with the veneer. So go and blend in it now with the dry finish, so you don't end up with any garish marks or just as nicely blended in. Once that dried, hit it with the dark burgundy. And this has gone in. It's actually quite shiny. You can see how shiny from the bottom you can see the outline of the body. The contour. But as I'm sanding it in, just trying to lighten it up and give it the sort of overall colour I want. Once that's dried. Go over it with some oil, and that's that's what our final product will look like after drying. I hit it with more oil. I think this oiling procedure I went on for maybe six, seven coats of oil uh, before I finally uh, rested on the final coat of oil. Just leaving it to dry, hitting with another layer of oil. In between oil, I'm rubbing this down with some steel wool to buff the oil. And then another healthy coat of oil, rub that in, leave it, and we're done.